Tonight, friends and families came together to remember the life of Jalen McAdams. He's one of two teens shot and killed at an East Nashville Middle School. Happened last week. Our Sharon Dankwa attended his funeral in Franklin today to hear a message from his family. It's just up the road from where I'm standing. Dozens filled this building to say they're not just honoring and remembering the life of Jalen, but they're also saying their final goodbyes. It's such a tragedy. I, I just can't even believe it. It's a day Shane Steck says he never saw coming. I couldn't even believe it. I was in shock. Like, I got, it's just Jalen. I was just with him the other day. I was talking to him the night before it happened. He's talking about 17-year-old Jalen McAdams, a friend, brother, and son. Jalen was one of two teenagers shot and killed in the parking lot of this East Nashville Middle School. Nobody that young should have to go. I go through something like that. Metro police say two teens shot and killed Jalen and 16 year old Takeo Bills. They believe it was drug related. And I know he was around the wrong crowd sometimes. He was trying to do better as a person. And I was trying to help him get there. It's just hard. Jalen's family remember him as a light in this world and an angel. His cousin Ethan Adkins says he left this world far too soon. He was like my brother. We did everything together. Um, He'd always be there for me. His smile changed the room. You could be mad and he'd make you really happy. It breaks my heart seeing him go away like he did. But while they said their goodbyes. It's not fully wrapped around that I'm never going to see him again. They're also sending out a message. All these kids out here trying to do that type of life, I just, just don't. It, as you can see, it has consequences. Jalen's family is now pleading with people to put down their guns, saying it's just not worth it. For WSMV4, I'm Sharon Dinkwa.